eight shoe spring trends guaranteed to bring the sunshine ah! don't forget to like my video subscribe to see more fashion fiascos and mayhem and hit the bell so you can know when i upload let's get into it bitches number uno on point pumps i love this trend this is one of quite a few favorite trends i love it because i think it looks so beautiful i especially love the one that bottega veneta is coming out with and keep in mind that this serves as an inspiration it doesn't mean that you have to go and in order to be in style get high-end designer thing you can keep in mind that these trends serve as a reference point and they come in so many different price points this is the one that i really love this one is one of my favorite looks from this on point pump trend the one by bottega veneta this comes in like metallic colors like in golds and silvers and blacks and like patent leather and i think it's so futuristic it's all over the runway from the row to even nia's pegasi and if i was to get my way I would actually buy the one by Bottega Veneta. Number two, slouchy boots. This one never really felt to me like a love because I'm always rocking the style whether it's in fashion or not. <laughs> because to me, it just never goes out of style. This is one that I actually have in my collection. The slouchy boot trend. Celebrities, all the hottest, like fashionable girls are wearing the slouchy boot trend. And this is one that I wear year round. Like if it's comfortable, 80 degree weather, no humidity. I would rock this with like shorts and I have been known to do that. If you're not ready for the open toe trend for spring, then this is something that you can embark on because it's friendly. You don't have to get a pedicure. Number three, trainer. Who the hell doesn't love trainers? I love trainers. And you're probably like, you barely see me wearing trainers. I wear trainers. I just don't like to wear like on an everyday basis, the athletic type of trainers athletic type of trainers like the ones that look like i'm gonna go to the gym i use it just for that to go to the gym i go and run and hit the weights and things like that that's when i would wear that but trainers for me never go out of style and i would buy like more of the fashionable ones for example i don't have them and i haven't bought them and i wouldn't buy them because they're too expensive but like balenciaga trainers the balmain trainers right like, those are like not necessarily the ones that you would take to the gym those are the ones that you wear every day and who wouldn't want to wear trainers every day they're super comfortable like we all know that like if we can live in trainers and some of us actually probably do we would live in trainers right i love it what will make this time a little bit more different is just going for more sleeker perhaps bordering on a little bit more athletic type if you love the athletic type nike has been coming out with some big ones like some popular ones they've been collabing with different brands and things like that dazzle all day this trend is just like it's just a fancy name dazzle all day you know anything that you can get your hands on that is crystallized embellished shiny you know right up my alley these are like adjectives that you can use to describe me shiny bright glittery brilliant flawless <laughs> you don't have to throw that in there <laughs> another one of my favorite ones because you if you know me which you probably don't <laughs> i love shiny things this is something that i will get normally whether it was in trend in style or not woven or all natural this one the mecca the epitome of the woven trend goes to bottega veneta because i feel like ever since i've seen this woven look bottega veneta brought it in this alfie sandal here is a new one that they came out with but they have a plethora of different type of woven looks to serve as inspiration but this is what's out there and i've seen this in so many different price points so it doesn't have to be bottega veneta it's beautiful it brings me straight to the beach it brings me straight to spring and summer i mean just bring me a martini and put me next to a blue beach and i'm good to go number six padded to think about padded go straight to versace you've seen it so many times because this was so trendy that it was actually coming out before it came out it was all over all the influencers and celebrities were already getting their hands on it and i mean like those platform type of shoes platform boots i feel like the one that did it right that it's really hot and trendy is by versace it's out there and then even valentino i would love to come and get into one of those especially the boots Siete ballet flats i remember when these were like big quite a few years ago pre-pandemic quite a few years before pandemic exactly what year i can't remember but do you remember when ballet slippers were like the biggest thing a winter never 
emailed me telling me it went out of style because as far as I'm concerned, they were always there. I see them all over New York. I see it's such a big thing, I feel like, in the Jewish culture because I feel like I see them wear them a lot. In the event that you were kind of lost just like I was thinking that they were always there anyway, they're back. I never truly gravitated to them. It's not something that I need, but in the event that it, you're looking for something comfortable and that's trendy and that you're like, oh my God, thank God, comfortability is in. At least it was as well attack. Numero ocho. Ooh, this is another one of my favorites and it's the lace up. And do I have this in my collection? Yes, I do. Oh, I hate my thumb with my ring. I love this. I find it so sexy. I've gone out in the city so many times. And to me, this is just pretty much, it's not exactly like Gladiator, but like Gladiator constitutes as a lace up, right? Like you lace them up. Ever since they first came out, I think it was, was it Versace that did that? Quite a few years ago, I saw the runway and I was so obsessed. This was probably like over 10 years ago. Something about this look is just so sexy to me. And it just me in a place, in a mood, in an environment. I feel good. I feel healthy. I'm young and in love and in charge. It's sunny. It's sunset. It's a New York City vibe. And you're in a rooftop bar having drinks and the music is so good. And you're with your boyfriend and he's so hot and gorgeous. You just don't want the night to end. Look at Gia, uh, Gia Borgini or Borgini. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Called Gaia has their own particular take on this look paris texas if you're looking for that one trend look no further if you're a little bit more bold like i am and want to be stylish and sexy and you're like i just want to buy one i don't need to keep buying multiple trendy things which you're right you don't this like i said serves as inspiration i'm not telling you to buy 